that people still to this day find this amazing. I mean, have you ever witnessed a sunset over the Tuscan hills? And I think this is the best because look at how many people are here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Florence. I'm back here once again and it's a lovely, lovely weekend that I'm spending here. Actually, if you've been here for quite some time, you'd know that I love Florence. It's my favorite city in Italy. And if you don't know, take it as your sign to subscribe and hit the bell button down below so you don't miss anything new. However, as I said, it's my favorite city and I spend actually quite a lot of time here. And yeah, it's a lovely weekend and I'm inviting you with me to have this leisurely walk, relaxed uh, day in Florence, to spend it together, to enjoy this city, to discover different corners of this city and, uh, you know, just enjoy the views and enjoy its beauty. So guys, if you're ready, we can start our day, we can start our weekend. Let's go with me. I think if we looked at uh, the most famous destinations for foreigners in Italy, Tuscany would for sure be on top of that list. Or maybe in the top three, I don't know, but definitely somewhere on top. And I totally share this obsession with this region. I love Tuscany. I don't know if it's a thing among us foreigners loving this region so much, but I'm pretty sure that Italians love it and cherish it just as much. I think one of the reasons is that Tuscany really gives you this slow life vibe and, you know, it's like wine. It has to be savored and enjoyed with every sip, you know? And the slow living paired with amazing places to discover and history, art, culture, and some of the best views, in my opinion. This is totally personal, but the views in Tuscany are absolutely mesmerizing. I mean, have you ever witnessed a sunset over the Tuscan hills? It's magical. I might sound like another hard type girl uh, obsessing over Tuscany and romanticizing this region and Florence as well, but it's just true, you know, I'm so in love with this part of Italy. And there are so many things you can do here, guys, from visiting the museums and art galleries, you know, to just relaxing, people watching on these piazzas with a glass of wine, probably, that it puts you in a very, very relaxed state, but beware because even when you are relaxing in a place as beautiful as Florence, you shouldn't forget about the basic things when traveling or even moving abroad, like, for example, the travel medical insurance. If you want to feel safe, if you want to know there is someone you can count upon while traveling to take care of you and help you, I want to introduce you to my partner, Safety Wing. Safety Wing is an amazing company offering the world's first international travel medical insurance aimed at remote workers and digital nomads just like myself and travelers like you guys and that's why i like this company so much you can get your affordable and reliable travel medical insurance plan from wherever you are in the world you don't have to go back home to do it you don't have to worry about anything you can even do it while already on your trip guys safety wing provides support 24 7 and thanks to their international team located all around the world you can count on getting help immediately so whether you are relaxing or exploring or working abroad you can rest assured knowing that whatever medical emergency may happen you have the safety net provided for you by safety wing you can get access to global network of highly qualified hospitals and doctors and even if a simple travel emergency arises like travel delay or lost check luggage because things happen you can be sure you will get immediate help let safety wing handle all the things for you your medical emergency your travel emergencies anything while you're enjoying your life abroad while you're enjoying traveling and exploring the world so wait no more guys and check the link in the description box to learn more about safety wing and 
get your travel medical insurance sign up and protect yourself protect your loved ones with the world's first nomad insurance Guys, look at how many people are here today near the Uffizi Gallery. And like every day is the same here. Whenever you come to Florence, you will find tons and tons and tons of people here visiting this amazing gallery, one of the most famous galleries in the world. Here is a tip for you if you want to visit the Uffizi Gallery and you don't want to wait in lines because the lines are huge. And if you don't buy tickets in advance, you will most likely end up waiting for hours in the line. Book your tickets in advance. I will leave you all the links in the description box to all the places that I visit as always, and also to uh, the website where you can book your tickets online in advance for a certain time slot. So you just come here during the time that you want to visit the gallery and you enter it. And I think this is the best because look at how many people are here and even more people are coming. It's incredible. I love this. I love that this monument and this city gets so much attention, but also for your convenience, you know where to look for the tips and tricks. Watch my channel and follow the link in the description box. Just this morning, I read the news randomly. I found by chance this news on the internet that there was a hidden staircase, like a hidden emergency staircase found uh, in Palazzo Vecchio. And it was discovered recently, like in the recent weeks, I suppose. This staircase, it was covered originally by different frescoes that could be up to 500 years old. And then they were covered by different uh, layers of paint and then rediscovered once again. And now when the restoration works will be complete, this stairs is expected to be open to public, hopefully, but guys, can you just imagine how many secrets these monuments are still conserve that are still hidden from us and you can still discover them. I think it's mind-blowing that people still to this day find these amazing uh, places, amazing secrets inside the palaces, inside the buildings. That's why I love Italy so much. Guys, you know how passionate I am about sustainable travel and how I always advocate for sustainable travel. One of my best tips to be conscious when traveling is to always carry your reusable water bottle with you. And I feel like I'm probably advertising this tip in each one of my videos, but it actually helps you to reduce plastic and to reduce your footprint this way. And here in Florence, near Palazzo Vecchio, right in the center, you can refill it. There is a wonderful fountain and I think they even have sparkling water. I don't know if they have it today, but you can choose between steel and sparkling. And it's also free of charge, so it's a, an affordable tip as well. Let's go with me. Here is an interesting fact for you guys. Uh, the classic Italian that is spoken all around the country today, and what we know today as the classic Italian, was once the local dialect of Florence. Because after the unification, all regions of Italy, each one of them spoke a different dialect and they could not understand each other. So a common language had to be chosen. And the language that was chosen as the classic Italian was the language that was spoken here in Florence and well in Tuscany, obviously, for many reasons, among which the fact that Dante himself spoke this language. And obviously 
going back to uh, one of the reasons that I said why I love Florence, one more person who was born here is Dante. And guys, if you, by the way, want to speak the language of Dante, there are so many language schools here in Florence. That's another reason why it attracts foreigners, why it attracts so many expats and travelers who want to stay here and learn the language. And on my Patreon page, I have a post about all the different language schools here in Florence. So check it out. I will leave you the link in the description if you want to learn more about language schools, if you want to choose the right school, or if you just want to learn more about moving to Italy or traveling here. Uh, Florence is one of my favorite cities in the world, not only because of its uh, incredibly rich historical and cultural heritage, but also because, just think of it, I'm convinced Florence is located in a very peculiar place, maybe like geographically, because historically it's been attracting so many prominent historical figures, so many important people, all to one place. Just thinking of the number of uh, these people who were born here or lived here or passed by Florence, it's really is incredible. You know, uh, to be such a unique city, uh, to, be so, to, to, to go through this such a unique time, the Renaissance, not only because everything was born again, after our civilization lost basically all the progress the Romans made and got into these dark medieval times, everything was born again here during the Renaissance era. Here in Florence, in a city that wasn't that huge, it was relatively small but so important. And as I said, not only because it was the period of rebirth, but also because if you think about the number of uh, thinkers, great thinkers, intellectuals, philosophers, artists, painters, sculptors, uh, politicians, after all, who at different times were staying here or passing by Florence. Anyway, they were attracted to Florence. And while it was in different times of their lives, it all happened during the same historical period. This is absolutely mind blowing to think about it. This city is so peculiar. I am convinced that it is absolutely unique, not only because it's beautiful and because of its vibe and everything, but because of its uh, historical importance and artistic importance, which is absolutely unparalleled. Piazza Santa Croce is my favorite place in Florence because normally it's so calm and so peaceful. And there is my favorite gelateria right nearby. If you haven't seen my other videos from Florence, by the way, I will leave you a link up here. So check out my playlist from Florence for all my favorite places here. And so, as I said, there is this favorite gelateria of mine where I like to get my gelato and then come here and just relax and have some, you know, peaceful moments, uh, enjoying the view of the cathedral, of the piazza, people watching and all of these things. Today, however, it's so busy because judging from the flags, it seems that there is a French market. So let's go and have a look. I love France as well, but I feel a bit weird, you know, about the French market in Florence, although I don't feel weird at all about the French market in Bologna, but here it just feels a bit odd. However, let's go and have a look. Who knows what we're gonna find there? Guys, if you need any more reasons to love Italy, I have just bumped into a very peculiar artisanal uh, school, the school uh, where you can learn the restoration and the construction of the violins. Let's go inside and have a look. The 
the founder of the school, Giuliano Merlini, who, by the way, gave me this amazing calendar with the works of uh, his students. He um, founded the school seven years ago, and he now holds the five-year-long courses. So it's a professional course that will teach you to restore the violins and guitars and musical instruments, and I think this is absolutely fascinating. Guys, I bumped into the school randomly just passing by and I wanted to come inside and see what they were doing because they have this uh, open plan school and they were so nice as to welcome me and allow me to film inside and to talk to them a little bit about it so just so you know guys I will leave you a link in the description box obviously if you have been thinking about coming to Italy and learning a new craft artisanal craft and what can be more Italian than this you can come here and even enroll into professional course it will be a commitment for five years, but I'm pretty sure that you will come out as a professional. And that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoy this video, that you enjoy this vlog from Florence, from a lovely weekend here, a very relaxed one. I'm installed the amount of people here. And uh, once again, guys, if you're new here, I remind you to subscribe and hit the bell button down below if you're ready for commitment, because I post twice a week and you'll find lots of travel vlogs, travel videos, useful information and occasional charge are here on my channel. And as always, don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends so I can make more videos like this. Thank you so much for being here and please enjoy your day.